You've likely noticed fewer daylight hours these days, and while it may mean less time to enjoy outdoors, it could also lead to a challenge when it comes to your well being. To learn more, we are joined by Dr. Kristen Gregory with our sponsor, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. Pleasure to be back, Tati. How are you today? I am great, thank you. And this is such a timely topic, so let's get right into it. How can the change of seasons impact our mental health? Well, it's all about the change of seasons, actually, and the decreased amount of sunlight that we are getting due to uh, winter coming uh, into the fall is when we usually see the symptoms of SAD really start to come out in people. So what are some symptoms of SAD or seasonal affective disorder? Uh, seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression. So a lot of the times you will get the same symptoms that you actually have with depression. Uh, and that will be depressed mood, hopelessness. Um, with the winter blues or the winter form of SAD, you also get an increase in appetite, that carb craving and this craving for comfort food, as well as uh, increased sleep low energy, not wanting to get out of bed, as well as hopelessness. So now does this only happen in the fall and winter season? No, actually uh, it's more common in the fall and winter season and most people have that effect, but people also have a summer version of SAD and the symptoms are kind of flipped. So instead of having a decrease, uh, excuse me, instead of having um, increase in appetite, you might have a decrease in appetite. Instead of having um, more sleep, you might need less sleep. Um, some irritability as opposed to the hopelessness. So to more of being a revved up in the summer with the increasing amount of daylight hours. I see, I see. Well, if, some, if someone is feeling the symptoms of SAD, what should they do? Well, the first thing to do would be to talk to your doctor or a trusted health professional um, about your symptoms. There's things that we can do um, without, you know, medication or treatment, and that might be something as simple as opening the blinds, uh, trimming the trees back around your house so you can have more natural light come into your house, going outside even though it looks overcast out because we still are getting um, a degree of sunlight. Uh, and another option uh, is uh, to have a light box. So light boxes emit the same type of daylight uh, that you would get from the sun, the same type of wavelength, and those can also um, help lessen the seasonal blues. Absolutely. Well, the stigma of surrounding mental health is getting more attention. Why is it so important to talk about it? Because mental health um, is different from mental illness. So mental illness is the symptoms we see, but mental health is really taking care of ourselves. Um, and by talking about our mental health and destigmatizing it, we can make people more likely to reach out for help or to get treatment if they really need it because they don't feel embarrassed or stigmatized by it at all. So right. it can really save lives. Yeah, and it's great to see that it's coming more to the forefront and less stigmatized, like you said. Doctor, thank you so much for joining Definitely. us this morning. Thank you, have a good day. You too. For answers to your questions about mental health and to learn more about how Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan may help, visit their website, bcbsm.com slash mental health. Again, that's bcbsm.com slash mental health.